what's going on guys welcome back to the channel on today's video we're going to talk about how to tape your fingers what are the benefits of taping your fingers and some tips and tricks to help keep the tape on your fingers and all that good stuff make sure to hit that like button subscribe hit that notification bell if you like the jersey i'm wearing in this video or in any of my videos this is my <clears throat> this is my own personal merch design so if you pick up this design you are directly supporting me and what i am doing here on youtube and i would super appreciate it uh, i've partnered with a company called dh lab with the ball spinners i don't have them displayed here because there's no bowling balls in this video, but if you'd like to get one of those ball spinners, link down below in the description, link to the tape, uh, probably not the scissors, but you know, all right. So what do you need to tape your fingers? Well, all you need is tape and a pair of scissors. Now, you don't have to use this tape. This is just the tape that I use. Um, and Vice didn't sponsor this, obviously. This is just the tape that I use, but this is the Vice yellow two inch roll. So it's two inches this way. There's also the uh, Turbo Big Red. There's a bunch of different tapes. I just like the yellow because it's, it feels like it's one of the thinnest ones and I wanna maximize the amount of feel on the ball. So why would you tape your fingers? For me, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons, okay? But for me, the biggest reason why I wanna tape my fingers is for protection. I bowl a lot of games every single week, like 30, 40 games a week. And because of that, my hands can get really dry sometimes and this crease right here can sometimes start to crack. And when that cracks, guys, it hurts so freaking much. So that's why, that's gonna be ultimately the biggest reason why I'm going to tape my fingers. Now, if you do decide to tape your fingers, you're not going to be able to tape your fingers and put your ball, your finger right into the bowling ball because it's now no longer going to fit. <clears throat> I found that for me, it was about a size and a half up in grip sizes when I went to go tape my fingers. So if you wanna try it, I would suggest change the, the, the grips on one of your bowling balls, try it, see if you like it before you make that commitment to change the grips on everything. So that's gonna be the first you know, tip or trick. The second one is that you may run into the tape not sticking and not staying and flapping off. That was a big problem for me when I first started taping my fingers was that the tape would just never hold. Few shots in, it's already flapping. And what I found for me is that if I wash my hands thoroughly before I bowl, it will help stick. You can also use hand sanitizer, but that sometimes can leave a little residue behind. So I don't really recommend that. I do see some people, um, super gluing the bottoms of the tape to your fingers. Again, I don't recommend that because when you go to remove that, it could be pretty disgusting. It could be painful too. So for me, what I just do is I wash my hands very vigorously, get my hands nice and dry, and then when I apply the tape, it, it stays on. And I, I've bowled an eight game regional with tape on my hands and not have to change once. So yeah, all right, so, so we're gonna have the tape. As you can see, I've gone through a bunch of this tape. Um, the really cool thing about this vice tape, and I think all of these tapes um, do this, is that they have a grid in the back, and that's so that you can cut off the same amount every single time. Uh, now, the amount is obviously going to vary from bowler to bowler. Um, I have figured out that for me, nine squares is perfect, and that's gonna matter uh, for the length of your finger. If you have longer fingers, you may need more than nine. If you have shorter fingers, you may need less than nine. If you have skinnier fingers, again, you may need less. If you have thicker fingers like me, you may need nine or more. But I would suggest just, you know, if you're like a similar size to me, try nine. And then if you need more or if you need less, um, then you'll know for next time. Just keep, you know, practice one or two times trying it and then you'll get the, the, the feel. You'll get the number that you need. Um, I will show you guys where it should cut off so that it doesn't affect at all. So for me, I go nine squares. So I take my tape here and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I cut off right here, nine squares. And now we're done with this. Now, I will say that there's plenty of videos, uh, people who tape their fingers completely different than I do. This is just the way that I found that it doesn't come off. There's other people who do it this way, which I, I, I don't recommend. It just, it's, it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. This is the way that I do it. 
and this is my recommendation. So now this is two inches across and the squares aren't like perfect. You can see that this one's super short, this one's super long. So ideally you wanna try to cut it in half. Uh, you can fold it, right? Fold it in half here. You take the scissor and just cut it in half. All right. So now we have two somewhat equal sides. Uh, obviously one's gonna still be a little bit bigger than the other. Like this one's gonna be end up a little bit bigger, which is fine. I use this one for my middle finger because my your middle finger is bigger than your ring finger. Uh, then, so what I like to do is I like to fold this in half. Okay. We're gonna fold this in half just like this. And I'm going to snip off just the very tip of these edges here. Notice that I didn't cut off a giant portion, just a tiny little bit so that when you unfold it, it almost looks like an hourglass uh, shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but yeah, like an hourglass shape here. I'm gonna grab the other one and we're going to repeat this process here. All right, just, just the tips here. And again, as you can see, like that. Let's clear this off. Oh, uh, also a little pro tip. Make sure that these little pieces don't end up on the floor because if you step on them, they will stick to your foot and it will be catastrophic on the lanes. Just make sure you throw it away. All right, so now we have our two pieces. You're done with your scissor now. So what I like to do now is I will peel, like roll it off the edge right here. And so I have it on my hands like this. So it's like ring finger and and index finger of your opposite hand. So what I do now is I'll grab the tip of my middle finger, like the very, very, I hope you guys can see this here. So it's almost like if it's like this, just the tip of my middle finger. Now I'm going to apply pressure to the front of my middle finger and pull back. And I'm making sure that I get all of my nail, right? And I'm going to pull here and flatten it out, okay? So now it looks like this. Now I'm going to take this, pull back, bang, just like that. So this is about where I want my, or exactly where I want my tape to be covering, just before this crease here, and make sure that obviously this first crease is completely covered. This is where I have the most of my issues with cutting, when I don't use tape, so this is the part of my finger that I want protected. And so now, once you have the middle finger done, you're just going to repeat the process. You're gonna roll it off. Again, same thing here. Uh, ring finger now. Again, see? I don't, when I put it on, I don't let it hang like this. I just, I just but I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. So again, I'm gonna pull back. I'm not gonna pull it back like all the way. I'm not gonna fully stretch it. I'm gonna say like, maybe like a 70% pull. Right, like I'm not gonna pull the, all of it, but you know, like a 70% pull just to get it down here. And again, see just below, just on top of this crease, this crease completely fully covered. So now this is ready to go. Uh, and this is why you uh, cut out the, the, the tip so that it doesn't like uh, bundle here. So now I'm ready to go. I don't do anything else to this. These fingers are ready to get in the bowling ball and strike at will. So guys, let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys tape your fingers? Do you, are you, do you want to tape your fingers? This is going to be the best way to do it, in my opinion. This is the way I've been doing it for years, and it just, it just works. There's no like rhyme or reason. It just works. Again, sizing, about a size and a half up on your finger inserts from whatever size you're using now um, because it, with the tape it will not fit in the ball and if it does you're just going to be jamming them in there so about a size a size to a size and a half for me it was a size and a half um, i hope this video helped you guys i hope that you guys are confident now in adding the tape all you need is tape scissors and a little bit of soap we'll see you on the next one